Hey! The zombies are gone! Wow, living through that nightmare actually had a positive effect on the real world. That's good. Now, is there anything left in this area for me to nab? We've read all the notes. All right, let's get out of here. Let's hope I'm gonna find armor. You know me. Still trying to get my perks, even if they're not entirely useful to me. Oh, God. Bugs. Ancient, old, awful bugs. Hopefully none of those things attack us. Oh boy. He didn't even get a chance to explode from his own grenade. Goddamn zombies. It's time to pull out. My ultimate weapons! Dual shotguns! No zombies can with just this unless I miss like a fuckload. Yeah, I have another grenade. Damn, I'm trying to reload my guns here, fellas! I know you're zombies, you're really goddamn mindless, but you could still be, you know, respectful. Stop that. <laughs> I didn't reload off that shotgun, boy! That guy just did a fuckload of damage to me, Jesus Christ. Ooh, armor. I like armor, thank you. Woo! Hey! I missed my throwing knife. Pretty hardcore. Oh, come on. That one didn't even penetrate your skin. I heard it ping off that armor. And yet it killed him and made him a zombie. Oh, God. That ran through my ammo really hardcore. Woo! That was really close. Ow, ow, ow! God! Damn it! Fucking Nazi zombies with guns. <laughs> Was not expecting him to be over there. Uh, Aw, I was hoping he'd join us down here. Down in the sun where it's so much fun. Or I guess it's not really under the sun. It's underground. Where there's plenty of death around. Well, at least there are no swimming zombie things. Then I doubt there would ever be one. Mm-hmm. Too much effort. A scathing report? Maybe you shouldn't be telling the lady who's probably more than capable of just straight up shooting you in the face that you're gonna write a bad report about her. I'm just saying, this doesn't look like a fun room. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... I gotta push a button and then suffer for a bit. Understood. Ready for what's down here, Helga? Ow. Nothing came to attack me. Up, oh, spoke too goddamn soon. Woo, he lived. You know, this seems like a good time to have dual assault rifles. Just in case I need to reload and then spam bullets at them. Goram zombies have a grenade! Woo! I have some bullets, because you almost smacked my ass. 
god, do these doors go down any slower? You know, one random comment, I really enjoy the fact that the guns shoot properly. Like, my left gun shoots on my left click, my right gun shoots on my right click. So many random games do have dual weapons and make your right gun shoot with the right, uh, with the left click. Because technically that's your primary hand. And I hate that. It's so confusing. But this one, it's nice, simple. I don't have to worry about much of anything. Except for the massive ammo expenditure. I am almost out of ammo. I ain't out yet! Now I am, okay. Let's see if I can find any bullets. Wow! Out of all the things that could be in this room, they have a bunch of bomb and shots ammo, but no fucking assault rifle ammo? You're not fine. Have a comp pistol. I don't use enough of this because it's a goddamn explosive weapon and I like accuracy over explosions. Usually. <laughs> Are we done? Oh, okay, good. Oh, thank god. There's some assault rifle ammo. Grab everything before we leave! Okay, that's it. It just had like a whole bunch of shotgun ammo. They really wanted me to use a shotgun here. March 17th. My god. I can't believe what I've just seen. We cleared the way into the inner vault. One of the men died in the explosion while the others took care of the body. I could not resist opening op opening the gate into the vault, despite what Helga said. I put a cloth over my mouth because of the strange green-colored gas, but it got into my nose and left a burning sensation. Entering the vault, I was struck with an overwhelming sense of awe. Such an impressive feat, to build such a vast chamber this deep into the mountain. There seems to be no end to it. There must be treasures hidden here. Magnificent treasures of real historical value. Also, I absorbed the unidentifiable gas released from the cracks in the ground caused by the earthquake. In front of the entrance, entrance, there is a mechanism of sorts, symbols on it, the same as on the map we retrieved from Helga's patient. Maybe it controls the aperture at the bottom of the pit. Helga has the map, so I cannot test this hypothesis yet. Something seems to be locked away there, underneath the earth. Hoping Helga will get here soon so we can study this further. Oh boy. You know, I've dealt with hell portals before. Uh-oh. Oh shit! Friends, Helga. Helga! Sie können Ihre Finger nicht vom Feuer lassen, hm? Aber diesmal verbrennen Sie... Au! <laughs> You're that fucking American, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. Give my hand to Rudy. <coughs> Possibly. I and his dog. What have we here? Ja, das hätte uns etwas Zeit erspart. Ich verstehe diese Symbole nicht. Oh, Fortuna, so strange and unpredictable. I could just... I feel like I'm a child again, digging for the treasures in the woods. This moment will put me in the history books amongst the greatest of adventures. You'll always be just another Nazi. <laughs> Sehen Sie, Schreiner. Ja, aber das ändert nichts. Bisher konnten Sie weder mich noch General Strasse beeindrucken, Helga. Meine Güte, Schreiner, Sie sind ein solcher Korrentenkacker hier. Sehen Sie. <lacht> Der Code auf König Ottos Karte entspricht genau den Symbolen hier auf diesem Podest. Das ist die Kombination, Sie Idiot! Na bitte. Oh! Oh! Sind Sie sicher, dass das richtig ist, Helga? Ja, nun machen Sie sich nicht gleich ins Hemd, Sie Weichei. Oh, thank God. Helga, was ist das? Holy shit! What? Oh, oh Gott, gebjotet! Gott, gebjotet! Vier Stühle. Ah, hallo. Du bist also König Ottos kleines Geheimnis, was? Sie ist so einsam aus. Aber keine Angst, ich bin jetzt da und ich habe lecker, lecker Fleisch für dich mitgebracht. Ja! Ja, yeah, it's the Schreiner guy. Flash. Gaganer! Gaganer! 
Na bitte. <lacht> Sehen Sie, Schreiner? Sehen Sie. Ihr werdet geeaten. So beherrscht man ein Monster. Ha! Wollen Sie es auch mal versuchen? <lacht> ich gestehe, ja, ich bin beeindruckt. Aber warum hat König Otto dein schönes Gesicht vor der Welt versteckt? Hm? <lacht> Egal. Zeit zum Fressen. Anna Bicke! Ah! Oh, wow! Oh, 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 oh. Meine Güte! Ah! Ah! Maybe we should be faster about getting out of the chains, Blaskovich! You know, you don't really save your food, do you? Oh boy. Serious right now, you Nazi fucks! Do you not see the shit I'm dealing with here today? Do you honestly have to come down here and ruin everything? Ooh, I'm a Nazi! Oh, Helga time! Let's go down there and hit the Americans! Stop smacking me! I'm sorry, did I hurt you? Did I give you a little boo boo? Too bad. Ow! Fuck, that was my face! That was also my face! Oh boy. He's being really goddamn specific about me now. Thank God for him, huh? Nope, nope, don't thank God for him. He is an asshole. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is not going as smoothly as it was before, but you know what? That's fine. Can you just... You know what? Do a winning time. I'm trying to shoot his mouth, so he's all like that. But he's being a dick. Where the fuck is this ammo going to keep passing by? You can see it on my screen! Like, hey, there's ammo here! And I'm like, really? Where? Well, alright. Yep, you, you definitely smashed the shit out of them, didn't you? I wonder if I can throw a grenade into his mouth. Well, that was just a bad toss on my part. I am so seriously annoyed that these Nazis are here. I mean, they distract him for a bit, but not long enough. for this bullshit. Dead. Okay. Oh my god. Well, this is more than definitely a boss fight. And I have no idea how to handle it. But that's fine. We're gonna leave our health items down here, so that way, if I get really screwed, I don't have to worry about it. Can I crouch under that? Because I'm being really goddamn aggravated about this shit. Okay. So that's what I'm supposed to do. I take the punches to the face and then just crouch. When he does this shit. Ow. That was incredibly unfortunate. I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> okay.
Look, I'm not shooting you. At all. I'm not aggressive, even if you want to eat me. Okay. So, let's talk strategy. Hey. Okay. Alright, fine. You want me to shoot you? I'll shoot you. Strategy. Shoot the shit out of this guy. Hope for the best. I got pretty far last time. My problem is always just like, I run out of ammo, try to shoot it to his goddamn mouth. And the Nazis. Because the Nazis just really goddamn dropped my health. Look at these fucking assholes. I just wish that wasn't like a fucking guaranteed hit. Holy shit! <laughs> Cause at least I can like actively dodge the hand sweeping motion. But what I can't easily dodge is the him slamming his fist into me thing. Like the only way I can dodge that is by letting him hit somebody else. You just don't have, like, that fast of a, uh, crouch movement. Or not crouch movement, strength movement, I'm sorry, I'm just... ...really panicking about this. So, Nazis aren't coming now. Which is interesting. Nope, spoke too goddamn fucking soon. So as a note, do not try to crouch Whoa. with alt, because I tried to do that a couple times and I got hit anyways. Just legitimately do a crouch, because with alt, that's your uh, that's your leaning function. And I figured that maybe I was being clever by doing that and pretty much having the equivalent of proning. It's actually really preferable to have the Nazis turn into zombies. Because at least when they turn into zombies, I don't have to worry about them as much. Whoop! Alright. It is a sorry rifle time. You know one thing I've actually forgotten about? The reload function. The whole- the pressing R thing. I could have been reloading a fuckload faster, holy shit. What? Oh, here we go. I was about to say, where's the fucking health? Oh, thank God. Oh God, I'm honestly surprised you're still alive after all that, but I guess I do need one final confrontation to talk with you. That wasn't so bad once I got into the rhythm of just him not smacking the shit out of me. What a, What the fuck even? <laughs> I 
Ouch! Yes, you did lose control. Uh, she died on her own. Well, at least I got the file. You don't understand. You never were in control. Ah! Really? Jesus Christ. <gasps> see fits fucking everywhere. Fergus! Here he is. Fergus. Come on. Give me a hand, you lazy bastard. How's the head, Blaskowitz? How'd you find me? We got a distress call from Pippa. We found their body. They got Wesley too, Fergus. Bloody hell. Aw, oh, there you go. Come on, miss. We have to get you out of here. At least we have one happy ending. Hey, listen, Blasco. We can't change what happened. You did a hell of a job finding that folder. Which means we've got the location of Death's Head's compound. Eh? We bloody got it. Can you believe it? There's this dream. Something important. It's gone when I wake up. No time for dreams, I guess. Ah, damn it! Forgot to take a piss before we left. Why didn't you remind me, Blasco? I look like your babysitter, Fergus. Fuck it. Almost there. You sure killed that big fucking monster proper, BJ. The biggest one is still out there. This may be our last chance to topple the Nazi Empire. Now it's time to get it done, eh? And the world is counting on us and all that. No pressure. <laughs> Except my goddamn bladder. monster never dies, no matter how many times you kill it. Just sheds its skin and changes form. I feel the weight of the world pushing me down. I try to carry it nonetheless. One last time. Then I can rest. Alright, and I... Guess that's Wolfenstein the Old Blood. That was interesting. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what to make of the monster boss fight. Out of all the things that I was expecting, I was not expecting a giant when monster and then shooting it in the mouth like a whole bunch to kill it. That was not something was even on my list of shit that might happen. I was expecting. We were gonna get down into the tunnels, and there was gonna be like some ancient zombie army just sitting down there. We were gonna like maybe shoot King Otto, who. Or Mel, no, King Otto's body was actually somewhere. Maybe we would have found his zombie wife. Something like that. But nope, just giant monster. Maybe I missed a couple letters that might have hinted at that. Huh. But actually, you know what? I actually kind of enjoyed. Old Blood a lot, and I feel like it definitely kind of combines well with having experienced New Order first. Just because you kind of go, ah, yeah! So we're leading up to that! That's where he got that! That's oh, that's that person! Uh, and it was, I was really happy when I saw Fergus because, you know, I chose Fergus in the main campaign, and I liked Fergus quite a bit. I thought he was a pretty fun character. Depressed, but fun character. But Old Blood was, I wouldn't say more of the same as the main game, but it was definitely along that line. <laughs> it had solid combat, it was fun to go through, they had a good time just kind of like actually poking fun at things. Yeah, it was, it had a lot of funny moments. I mean, the the part where we're sawing off the shot, we're sawing up part of the shotgun, and the fucking zombie comes down, and fucking Blaskovich just starts going faster, faster, faster. And it's great. I like games when they have humor, but it's not like 
too forced in your face. It's just enough that it feels like it could have actually been part of the world. You know, something like uh, Rudy being really goddamn devastated that we killed his dog and just yelling about that for the entire boss fight. And then his entire boss fight is him just really goddamn sad and angry at us for killing Greta. And I love that. I just, I couldn't take it seriously, but I killed him and then he's dead. And that was great because when you play the main game, when you play the main game, there wasn't really a hell of a lot of that, but there was like a lot of character development and all these other solid things. They didn't really have too much fun with itself. Although I did have a couple moments then, too. That was the main game. We have that one bit where we find the Nazi inside the spaceship, and he just goes fucking wide-eyed, and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> he's about to die. Uh, but I really enjoyed Old Blood for a random $20 standalone thing. That's kind of a prequel, but kind of okay as its own standalone story. It's pretty solid. And I felt like, at the very least, at the end there, Blaskovich kind of repeating his initial speech that you start off with in New Order in New Order had more of an impact there than it did at the beginning of New Order. At the beginning of New Order, I was like, okay, I hardly know Blaskovich. Uh, apparently he has the weight of the world on his shoulders, and he's really morbid about it. But now we go through this, and you can see he has, he has a little bit of a sense of humor. He is a human, and he enjoys killing Nazis. And that is incredibly amusing and, and fun. And for 20 bucks, that's not too bad. Although, let's see, uh, I think that was about five hours, and then obviously we have the challenge mode, so for 20 bucks, five hours, that's not that bad. It's about five to six hours, and the main game is about 12 hours, so when they said that this game was going to be about half the length of the main game, they really weren't kidding. Although I would have, wouldn't have minded if the game was a little bit longer. I would have really enjoyed fighting more Nazi zombies. I would have enjoyed if the Nazi zombies became more of a threat, actually. I was really kind of waiting for that moment where, like, the Nazi zombies would be in, like, fucking heavy suits of armor or some shit. And I'd be like, oh god, they're trying to smack me while they're inside the suits of army just by punching me because they're zombies and that's all they know. That would have been incredibly amusing, but they didn't do that. Well, that's fine. I, I mean, what we got, again, was solid enough. I just... Hmm... It's very interesting that there was like a single choice that you could have done <laughs> in the middle there. Just like, you can either choose Kessler or you can choose Annette. And I almost didn't realize that. I almost didn't think it, but I went I, I went both ways and I was kind of like, why are there two different entrances to two different places? Oh, because I have to choose Annette or the other guy. Oh. So I guess if you replayed the game and try to save Kessler, I wonder if the game changes up there. Annette didn't really do anything, though, so I, don't, I doubt that. It probably just would have been, like, a nice little story thing. Like, maybe Kessler gets away and finds another woman, or maybe he's totally fine not having a woman who's like, but he gets away. But with Annette, she does get the woman, so good for her. Even though everybody else is dead. <laughs> everybody else in that village is gone. Uh, you know, at the end there, I was actually kind of hoping that maybe we would have we been able to experience one final fight after killing the monster. One final push across like a beach or something. Not really like the intro of New Order, but just some kind of other thing and then something leading up to New Order. But let's find what we got. I actually kind of want to... We're going to skip this. Uh, or we can't actually. Okay, well then we'll just sit here and stare at the very last few seconds of the credits. I want to check out the challenge things real quick to see what kind of experience that is. Just so I can be like, ah, so that's what they're like. Okay, so with the challenges, oh, we can actually choose the chapters from the main menu. That's pretty good, actually. So if I wanted to repeat ruins and see what happens with Kessler, I could totally do that. Uh, okay, so challenges, we're gonna choose. Oh, look at this. Challenge eight. That's something completely different. I guess challenge eight's what happens if you go to the Kessler. Let's try. Bathhouse. What is what are these challenges like? Are they just going to send massive waves at me? Or is it gonna be the same thing as we did in the campaign? Just one solitary wave. 
get psyched! Oh boy. Alright, so do I have all my perks? No? I could check. Okay, so it starts off kind of the same way. Well then, let's try killing everybody. Get all my armor. Run over here. Oh, that didn't work. Hey, we got points for it! Oh! I understand now. And that is not my semi-automatic rifle. Whoops. There we go. 200 explosive! 200 explosive! That actually adds a little bit of what I was kind of hoping for at the end of the main campaign. Not, not the points and stuff, but definitely the more arcadey battling through tons of enemies thing. I incredibly enjoy this, actually. So if I ever want to sit down and just shoot a bunch of fucking Nazis, I have this. Oh gosh, I need health. I'm done! Please don't throw the grenades at me! Oh. I was gonna try to run at it and disarm it. Or throw it back. Wouldn't have been a good idea. 200 headshot! Zombie soldiers! Okay. So I can build up combos, all that stuff. Just, I guess, whatever you think you'd figure from like a horde ish kind of mode. Although I'm, I don't want to call it too much of a horde mode until it's, I see that it's purely infinite. Oh, <laughs> but it is so satisfying to see all those points come up. It makes it's all like, oh yeah, I got headshots. Ow. I might die here. <laughs> I put out the wrong weapon, but that's totally fine. So do I have to like reach the end of the bathhouse? Ah. Okay. You beat the challenge in just two minutes and eight seconds. Forty percent of your shots hit the enemy. You picked up 28 supplies, destroyed 14 environments, 70% of your kills were headshots, fuck yeah! You made 8 kills in quick succession. Alright, so, these challenges are not like infinite horde modes, they are actually just legitimately the challenges we faced in the main game, but now we're scored and trying to see how fast that is. I'm not one to care too much for that, but at the very least that does, that does add a little bit of value to this random $20 standalone DLC thing. Like if you don't ever played New Order, at least you can sit there and go, hey! I can shoot a bunch of Nazis at any time I want and be ranked on it and then feel, feel really self-important because I'm the highest in the world or some shit. But for me, eh. I actually want to check one thing. I want to see what happens with Kessler. So be right back. You're in trouble. Gotta find a way to get to them. Well, it's time to make our choice. Let's see what happens when we go to save Kessler instead. Obviously, Annette's probably gonna die, although she doesn't die, I'm gonna be incredibly mad, actually. Oh boy. So, it's still Nazis. <laughs> I was figuring, well, one place is gonna be tons of Nazis, and one place is gonna be tons of Nazi zombies. Nope. They're about the same challenge. But one's in a bathhouse, and one is inside of a garage. Oh god, they're bringing my cover. Please stop that. So is that all- Ow! You have to throw at me? The answer is no! They had a heavy soldier dude just chilling behind an explosive gas tank. Really bad idea, honestly. Oh boy. They have fucking- A hell of a lot more people in here this time, actually. Alright. I need my fucking gun. Where's the other heavy soldier dude? There he is. Damn! That guy's head blocked the bullet for him! Oh man! I was trying to shoot his tank, but nope. Gotta right. find a way to get to them. I really wish I had more ammo. Maybe I can find more armor. That'd be nice. Oh, so close! <laughs> I'm still desperately trying. To get that armor charge. Oh, 
Or I could just leave the entire room back. Wow. I don't even have to stay here. I could just leave that room alone and go to save Kessler. You okay, Kessler? Annette is gone. She wanted to find her friend. <laughs> Stuber wie ein Maultier, das Kind. I will take these flyers and cast them out over Berlin, just like my wife did. Maybe it's like pissing in the ocean, but every drop spreads ripples across the water, no? Sure. If you choose to do nothing because you feel insignificant in the grand scheme of things, you might as well be an ant. And if I die, I know I will have deserved to meet her again. I'll come with you. No. Best if I go alone. You stop Helga. First, help me open a way through the blocked doorway. Okay. Uh, I like how fucking Vlaskovich still offers to come with him. But we don't see anything about Annette. Maybe we're gonna see her later on. Oh, gosh. So Annette's tragic story is if we actually don't go with her. Good just sensible, I suppose. Found this in the boathouse. You've taken my friend. I will be fine. <clears throat> sure as I hope so. You could have used a fucking sawed-off shotgun. Annette, no! I guess never mind about Annette surviving. Jesus, when you couldn't survive like five seconds? Oh. God damn it, Annette. So sorry, Annette. It wasn't supposed to end this way. No, it wasn't. You were supposed to go find your girlfriend. And then just kiss her randomly. Be the only survivors left in town. It would have been would have worked out. I was a kid. We had a monster in our basement. Are you still there, Vlaskovich? Yes. I'm here, Kessler. What's your status? Status is airborne. I took over at Zeppelin, flying it to Berlin to spread the flyers. You are crazy as a loon, Kessler. I know I will not make it out of life. So too. I don't. I like not knowing bliss before death. Now, bliss in general, that's something we can talk about. But bliss because I'm about to die, no. No, no, no. No. Yes. Yes. They got Wesley too, Fergus. Bloody hell. Aw. And there's Annette, on, miss. girl. Get you out of here. Okay, so... I just beat the game a second time. This time saving Kessler. And... Wow, that was actually kind of disappointing. I was hoping there'd be some... I wasn't expecting massive changes, but... Something a little bit more substantial in the ending there. Across. Wow. So... The only thing different, if you save Kessler instead of Annette, is that in the end, the girlfriend of Annette is just chilling out on the docks alone. You don't see Kessler. I didn't see any flyers that Kessler was trying to distribute or anything like that. So that's disappointing. But uh, all right, I guess the better ending for me was just choosing Annette. <laughs> you get a little bit of happiness there, you're like, all right. Whereas with Kessler, he's more of like, you know what? Yeah, I want to live, but I feel bliss because I might die. I probably will die, but at least I'll do something good. Eh, it's not as powerful as an ending as, I guess, the good ending. But 
I guess that's fully Wolfenstein the Old Blood, at least with those two endings. I don't know if there was any other choices in the game there. It was actually interesting. I blazed through that last segment, like, really, really quick. I went from, uh, ruins through Old Town through Dig Site in 30 minutes. It took me 30 minutes to go through all of this. <laughs> Just like rushing through and killing everything and I actually did I, I there were only like maybe two segments where I just ran by everything Everything else I legitimately sat down and fought <laughs> So it's interesting how fast you can go through games once you kind of like know the area or you just kind of don't give a fuck about Stealth and you're just like look at everything is going to die. I'm gonna blaze through everything as fast as possible uh, So that was interesting so that's what was on the old blood. The only other things I can think of to talk about for Wolfenstein the Old Blood is that I really did and kind of enjoy uh, Rudy and Helga. I know we didn't really deal with them too much, but they were kind of an amusing villain in each of their own way. Like fucking Helga is this alcoholic slash obsessed wine person, <laughs> and Rudy is like all about his dogs, and that was kind of amusing to me in a lot of different ways. And then. There was also the fact that the Nazis this time around, well, maybe they were humanized in the main game as well, but I, think, I feel like they were a lot more prominent in this one where you were, you were hearing their conversations and them talking about wanting to go visit their wives or their wives leaving them and all that stuff. I kind of felt bad about them before I fucking just straight up killed them or they got turned into zombies. But that's about it. Wolfenstein the Old Blood was pretty fun. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10. And if it was a longer game, I think that's honestly what would have given it a 10 out of 10 for me. It just ends really quick, but not too quick, but it, it ends off in the sweet spot of, mm, not too long, not too short, but I wouldn't have minded if it was a little bit longer. It ends off in that area and that's how come I would give it a 9 out of 10. It was a fun game, fun little standalone thing. And God, it actually makes me hope that they do more Wolfenstein in the future. I know the ending of Wolfenstein The New Order wasn't all that, uh, didn't really leave all that much there for us to go after, but they did mention that there were still other parts of the uh, Nazi army that we hadn't touched upon. So maybe there will be another Wolfenstein. But for now, Wolfenstein The Old Blood and Wolfenstein The New Order, both of them were pretty fun, and I'm going to end off here. Thanks for watching this Let's Play.